uh, we're in some bees today, um, just uh, a few hours before the Northern Traverse st starts. It's uh, just, just going eight o'clock. I think everyone's just waiting to start registering at the moment. It takes you through, firstly, about 60 miles in the Lake District, then head through the um, Yorkshire Dales and then into the North Yorkshire Moors for the last bit. I had my entry before Covid hit, so it's been a few years um, rolled over for me. And then my brother sort of dropped in that he'd entered as well and we've decided, right, it, really at the last minute to run it together. So we've wrecked the route together. Fingers crossed, not very many nav errors. Um, we'll have a good idea where we're going. We know what's coming up. Oh. the adventure side of it, getting out in the hills and just being on your own and have to just work it out and get to the end somehow. I've never really slept on a race before, so I haven't quite decided what I'm doing. I think I'll just play it by ear. No, I've done a few hundred milers, but um, nothing of this length, so nothing into sort of two, three days really. Loving our first northern traverse. If, if the snow and the heavy rain keeps off, that this this is it's perfect. I would. It's nothing better to, at the moment. I've never gone this far before. Like I imagine a lot of people. I've only ever done up to 100 mile races, so uh, it's a new new level of uh, new level of uh, expedition. I landed on my ankle badly coming down Honister, so uh, I'm just going to walk that off for a bit, let Rory, let Rory go ahead and see if it goes. It's one massive weakness, it's not too bad, so I may be okay. It's just a bit marge at the moment, so take it easy over the rougher terrain. No, I'm having a nice day, it's really, it's really nice, it's really beautiful sunny day. And this bit's just running, isn't it? So um, who knows what happens when it, uh, gets dark and we're still running and then it gets light again and we're still running. Um, not tried that before, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. I wasn't going to sleep the first night um, just because of not really thinking I'll be in a place. Uh, I don't want to be on the trail really because I think I'll get too cold. Um, but so I think I'm going to try and go through to Richmond, but I, I, who knows what's going to happen. I've not tried it before, so it's a learning process and a bit of an experiment, so we will see. It's such a privilege to be able to just be out here for so long, not have to worry about real life. And, you know, the night is completely bonkers, you know. It's not something you normally do, so it feels really good to do it. So my legs feel very grateful this morning. <laughs> Just keep going steadily, get to Kirby Stephen, have a sleep, and then see where we go. It looks like another nice day on the way.
we're, we're hoping for 60 hours and discussing how long we can sleep for versus how long we can run for. <laughs> we haven't made a strategy yet. <laughs> I really don't think I could go any further without sleeping. All I've been thinking about is sleep for like the last, oh, I don't know how long. Um, uh, about 20 hours. Yeah, about 20 hours. <laughs> Has it been that bad? Sorry. About 25 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know when it catches up with you that you've not slept for so long and you're not going to sleep for so long. Um, but we had a group of us together and it was you know, nice to chat and keep our spirits high together. I think everyone was in dark places at you know, similar times. And... We were saying that we really liked the landscape on top of the uh, smelting mines when you come up of, um, what's it called, Bunton? Bunton Hush, is it? I don't know. Anyway, it's, that was really impressive. We love the smelting mines yeah. to see a bit of old industry and really looking forward to the moors because that, that's, that has its own character as well. So, if we get that far. <laughs> quite happy on my own. Quite happy out at night. Safe for feeling it's on the, uh, street to the city. I work in an office so the body gets to sit down and do nothing all the time but the mind's always working and then come out and do this, give the body a bit of a pounding and uh, let the mind switch off for a bit. Depending how I feel, I've done a recce and there's a really nice uh, bus shelter in wreath, yeah. an old fashioned stone type. So that could be, uh, that could be the possibility. We had a really bad section from Shack to Kirby Stephen. Um, but then, about four hour fat, had to sleep, loads of food. I feel like, I feel like you. <laughs> yeah, I feel really good actually. I don't feel like I've run like 95 miles, which is a bonus. Uh, a bit of a second wind. Yeah, a bit of a second wind. So breakfast is just you know, something that happens to other people, really. It's <laughs> an alien concept. Yeah. 37 miles. Excellent. That's only just over a 50k. Standard. Right. Cool. Uh, 24 7. Kim Collinson arrived um, shortly after 2 a.m., so we're able to serve him and the rest of the guys with our main serving period probably through the middle of today, today on Sunday. Um, but we've got a lot of people sleeping here and as they come back out of the tents we'll, we'll serve them as necessary. If someone has something, the others want it. So we were doing fried egg on chips for a couple of hours, um, soup took off for a while, we've got a vegetable call which is really nice, um, but not always, yeah, it follows, a lot of people follow what the previous had. Yeah, for me, this kind of running has everything from you know the joy of the exercise and doing that, and there's the time on your own, the reflection, and the, the thinking time, the me time that you get, and the socialising. So you know, it's, it's a great way of spending a few days if you're lucky enough to be able to you know, do what we're doing. There's lots of opportunities to um, to have fun. There's also lots of opportunities to foul up, um, and you've just got to be got to be organised. Anyway. I mean, life's life's too short, and we've all had pretty crazy years, haven't we? So it's uh, it's nice just to be out. Nice and yeah. enjoyed it. And yeah, yeah. It was good, like, 
deer and sunset and, and then after Kirby Steven it got tough. Yeah. And after Richard Pete. Oh dear. <laughs> Not bad. Not yeah. Fine. yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's a bit of a wait for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big argument. Ten percent of us will leave here. Not doing it with you. No, yeah, it's all good, aren't it? Got in one of the vans, tried to have a bit of sleep. Really? Didn't sleep. Lost the tent, freezing cold. And then looked at my thing, um, burn, and it was 8 o'clock, and I was like, well, should we just get up and get on now? I crawled into a little hole in a rock um, on the way up um, one of the little climbs after the Lord's Stones and had like a five minute eyes closed but it wasn't really sweet but it was really nice and did make a big difference. to decide whether I like continuous runs yet. I really enjoyed, like up until 100k was amazing. Up until 100 miles was mostly amazing. After that was quite hard. <laughs> Thank you. 